Hello everyone, welcome to Duena Tech channel. Today we are continuing learning JavaScript using FreeCodeCamp platform. Let's navigate to FreeCodeCamp uh, website from where we stopped previously. In the previous tutorial, we got this uh, part, uh, learning introductory JavaScript by building a pyramid generator uh, is done and went through all these challenges together. And today we are going to start on the next challenge, which today we are going to start on the next part, which uh, to review JavaScript fundamentals that we learned previously by building a grid app, uh, such as uh, functions, variables, conditions, loops and so on so i did a quick uh, check for these uh, tutorials and also i'm going to go with you to get all this challenge done for the first challenge we will give you these uh, tips uh, at below here so you can use this scores uh, to generate the total scores and as well you can use the array method length to get the total number of this score and you can create a, a variable called average to get the sum of the total score divided by the number of scores and and we can do all that inside this function called get average so how we can do that let's try just start directly inside here let's initiate a variable using let keyword as I remember we use let keyword uh, when we need to reassign a variable value and this call it just total and then assign it to zero you can call it total or total score. Let's just change it to total score. And the total score start from zero, for example. This here, we call the function and we pass a, a score so as a parameter uh, uh, to this function or argument to this function. And we can access it through this uh, parameter. So this array of a score, we need to get the total of these scores we can use for loop if you remember we can loop over each item of this and then we can update the total score every time the loop call to just increase the total score by one of this score here let's start write our loop so if you remember how we can declare loop using four keywords and then parentheses and at the interior uh, uh, cryoly bracket and inside this parentheses first one is going to be the iterator so for example we are going to, to Declare a variable, uh, call it i using let keyword and assign it to initial z uh, initial values start from zero. Then next uh, part the condition. So ne we need the loop to be called every time. Uh, so i when i is uh, less than uh, score scores dot length. So the loop will be called every time i less than total of these uh, scores. When reached uh, to the total of the score, then the loop will quit. And next, we need to uh, increment i every time by one, so the loop will be called every time until reached to the total. Uh, so that will be i then plus plus, which means increment uh, i every time by one, start from zero and two, three, four, so on until reached to the point where i less than scores dot length, which is the total number of this item inside this scores array. What we need to do inside this clearly. Uh, bracket so we need to update this total score so every time the loop call then update the total score value by the adding total score itself plus we need to access this score how we can do that if you remember to access any item inside an array we can use the array name which is called score in this case and then add square bracket then we need to add the index of the item that we need to access so we can access the index dynamically because we don't know how which number every time the loop is being called then so the item the index every, it will start from zero and next time will be one and three and so on in that case then we can use i and that will give us a total uh, for this uh, score here uh, next we need to uh, log out at least let's see now what is total score look like uh, if we remember if we need to print something out we can use console log and then as uh, this total score inside the console log let's see what the total score is it look correct uh, console log is mistyped this one and uh, now that is giving us the total score that's look working fine next step we need to create a variable we are going to use const uh, keyword because this variable is not uh, resignable so uh, you call it average and which equals the total uh, sum of the scores so which we have this total scores sum of the scores 
divided by the number of these scores if we need to get the total number of these scores basically we can use the length method which is score scores dot length this will give us the total number so this the total score divided by total number of the scores which will give us the average and at the end here it's still the function if you see on the right here return undefined if we need to return something inside the uh, function if you remember we need to use the return keyword by default we return undefined but we need to return this average variable here so now that should return the correct value and now if you check your code, boom, congratulations, your code is passed, submit the changes and move on to the next challenge. And in this challenge is asking us now that the teacher need to convert the student score to be a letter grade. So at the bottom here, I'll give you some tips to, do, to get that done. Basically to update this function, get grade uh, to use else uh, using if condition and if else and else. So we can check every time when, for example, the score is 100, then return uh, A++ and so on. When, the, for example, the score is less than 60, then will be a return F uh, uh, instead. So let's start actually adding that here by, for example, start phase, add a condition if core equal equal, which check if uh, equal 100, then return inside so need to add curly bracket return uh, this here a plus plus and this is going to be string we need to use double goodies or single goodies should be fine and so this is the first case change the order start from the bottom because if you return uh, if you pass any value from 0 until 99 we return a every time so the if a statement will be executable by order so we'll call the first condition if false we'll go to next condition and so on if we need to get this properly handled so we need to start in correct order so let's uh, next step let's just go let's add here else in a curly bracket so we need to start from this example here when this is score less than or less than or equal 69 return d and same let's just copy this duplicate it and when the score less than or equal 79 uh, in this case return c instead of d and same so on for nick for the next case uh, when it's less than or equal 89 and then return b and the one before last one when is 99 uh, return a when it's less than or equal 99 else if not equal for all of these return f so now let's check the code uh, there is one missing to fix this problem we need to move this to the fairest part here just after 100 and make it else if uh, score less than or equal 59 then return f otherwise move on to the next uh, condition and now if you check your code boom congratulations your code is passed submit the changes and move on to the next challenge and in this challenge the teacher is asking you that whenever the student is fail return false otherwise return true at the tips section here you can use get grade function to help you to get this logic done so we can use this function uh, to return every time we return a letter to check where if the student is pass or fail so we need to add here return for example and we need to check this function uh, we need to pass a parameter which is going to be this score here we need to check if this uh, return value net not equal to f return true otherwise return false now if you check your code boom congratulations your code is passed and miss the changes and move on to the next challenge on this last challenge we are going to update this function student function to return this message if the student is passed otherwise to return this message if the student is failed we are using the we are going to use the concatenation approach to have this uh, message properly declared 
So you need to add a condition first here to check if to see if the student is pass or not first. Check first by using get grade uh, function. And then this get grade will expect uh, the score of a student. This is the score, the second parameter here is the score. We need to check if this uh, not equal, not equal if, then that means the student is pass, else which the student is fail. So inside here we need then we need to declare our uh, message. We need to add return keyword and how the message look like. So this is a message for the past student here. We need to add. So this is a string. We need to grab this is a double goodies. Then we need to add a plus to concat this string with this value to get the uh, average of the student. We can use the function get average. And uh, instead of this text here, and then this is a, a function we need to call it using parentheses. The get average will expect this parameter total of scores. And then next, this is a text as well. Let's just have more space here. So this is just a text we need to write it with the double goodies. And as well, we need to add a double goodies for this dot and then space and before that we need to add a plus simple here to concat the string and as well we need to add a plus here and we can actually include both these in one a string just remove this here leave space like that this correctly now now we need to add a plus just after this string to concat this one a grade goes here we need to call the get grade function again this one here uh, should be goes in this section instead and we need to add plus to concat this string uh, with this one this part here so this is the first part is you need to be very careful with indentation so we need to include this dot inside here and so now we can copy the same message and add it inside else and uh, we need just to change the message and uh, this one this part here the message say you failed instead you passed and uh, you need to pass the grade your grade and everything will be similar and now we should see the message class average 7.71.7 and uh, your grade is and fail this look doesn't look correct to me let's try check your code yeah there is something not correct need to add space here actually so there is a missing space then add the space again after your grid and the space here. So let's check again. Now it's look a bit better. Boom, congratulations. Your code is passed and some other changes. And by now that you uh, got the first, the second part of the JavaScript tutorial done. Thank you for watching and see you on the very next tutorial.